Hi everyone. So let's see the next section, which is our partners. And I don't think so that we need to apply any media query on this one because as we are reducing, there is one element which is scrolling. Um, yeah, so no problem. Yeah, so I'm not going to do anything for this one. But now we will start working on the uh, footer. All right, so the first thing we think we would at certain point we would need, need to reduce the, the image size or this logo size. So let's see where. Uh, no problem up until this point. Yeah, no problem. I think at 768. Yeah. So here it is. It is a little bit bigger. So this is 764. So definitely at 768 we need to do that. Okay, so let's go to our footer and here it is and the class is footer logo img. Let's see uh, footer and then where is footer logo img? Height is 10 rem. Maybe we can reduce it to 8 rem. So add 768. So this is the 768 footer and footer logo img and for this i'm gonna have height to 8 rem and let's have a look yeah the height is or the overall size we just reduce the height width would be done automatically so that is done as we go back so it's a little bit bigger and here it's a little it's, it's a bit smaller and looking nice all right so the next thing uh we need to do maybe we can have this at 568 we can have uh, rather than this call these two columns we can have from top to bottom yeah so first let's have a look that we will do it yeah over here 568 so this is at the moment 565 so now let's see that how we have designed it so footer and within footer we have this footer div and then we have this footer div so this is holding this footer div is holding our logo and the social media icons and all the text is here so that means that we must have defined our display grid on the footer yeah let's see how we have this defined it so here footer and yes display grid and we set that grid template columns one fraction and two fractions so two columns so now if i do it one fraction just one fraction so that means that i'm gonna have one column so i have two divs so that means two rows yeah i hope that's clear so 568 pixels here and this is my footer and uh, okay no comment is already there so footer the element not the class so all i need to do grid template columns one fraction and that's it yeah so again i have two columns this uh, sorry two devs footer dev and footer dev earlier what i was doing on this footer i was saying that one fraction and two fraction so that means that this would take uh, you know half of the space of what this will take yeah so this now I'm saying that I'm gonna have only one column yeah uh, and it should fit the width of the browser and let's see if that is the case and yes this is fine that's exactly what I wanted now another thing what I can do now I can see that my social media icons and this text you know there should be some margin in between so if I select the first and first div, which is uh, footer div and add the margin bottom. So this my whole div would be pushed down. That's how I can do it. Or I can select the second div and then I can select the margin top. But I'm going to select the first one. Yeah. So at in 568 itself. So here footer div and first of type margin bottom and let's have to ram and let's see yeah we have this margin added over here all right so that's it which we were which we were supposed to do or which we could have done there is nothing 
more i think which we need to do for the footer as we go back everything seems to be fine and as we are reducing the size of it the first thing the image size decreases and then my layout changes for the footer yeah all right so that was the complete landing page and it was pretty quick there was nothing much but with some quick things we can change the layout when we are, we are using the css grid so thank you so much for being with me and i'll see you in the next one